Hey everyone, Chef Yoda the dog here, and it's time for the Monday meal. Today's Monday meal is something that's a classic, but a spin on a classic. So this is from recipes.instapot.com. My mom saw it on their YouTube shorts, and it's a rosemary Dijon chicken and dumplings. Oh my goodness, it was so yummy. Like, really good. And I love dumplings. I mean, you know, what could be better? It's like puffed bread stuff in a soup. So, I mean, that's that's really good. Anyway, you guys should give this a try. It was delicious. And we highly recommend it. Of course, my mom made an allergy-friendly version of it. And um, it, was, it was just really good. So... You should definitely give it a try. Um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate it. Chef Yoda the dog out. Hey everyone, happy Monday. As Yoda said, we're making the Instapot Rosemary Dijon Chicken and Dumplings. So this is the stew and these are the dumplings. We're about to put these in there while the Instapot is on saute. So in the actual dumplings themselves, we've got gluten-free bisquick, and I'm gonna link the original recipe down below. Sea salt, milk, so I use coconut milk, melted butter, so I use ghee. And then that has made this, which is our dumpling mixture. Then in the stew, we have two cans of chicken breast, we have two cups of chicken broth. We have rosemary, half a teaspoon of dried rosemary, because I didn't have fresh, half a teaspoon of ground white pepper, half a teaspoon of sea salt, then two tablespoons of spicy brown mustard. It's supposed to be Dijon, but I don't have that, so we're going with spicy brown mustard. A teaspoon of minced garlic, which is two cloves, and an onion, a medium onion that we sauteed with the garlic and spices before we added everything else. So now what we're supposed to do is while it's still on saute, you're supposed to use a one and a half inch cookie scoop to make your dumplings and then put them on top. Do like that. There they go. So we're gonna do that. It says make a single layer on top of dumplings. All right, so we've got our single single layer of dumplings on there, and then we're gonna shut the lid, put it on sealing, and then we're going to cancel the saute function and then change it over to manual, and then we're gonna do 10 minutes. And then I'll show you what to do. So actually, you put it on ceiling, you cancel your saute program, you put it on manual, and then you do eight minutes. Eight minutes on pressure cook. All right, it's been the 10 minutes of natural release followed by a quick release. You can see that the dumplings are done. Of course, I've covered them up with this stuff you're supposed to add, but <laughs> then you add a bag of frozen veggies that have been thawed and then a fourth of a cup of cream. So we're using corn, we're using our silk non-dairy whipping cream, and then parsley. So that's what's in here. Look, there's a dumpling. You can see it now. They're done. Thanks, Instapot. This smells really good. Hope you guys have a great Monday.